Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue the same work that we did in the previous lesson. So our learning goal is the same and it's I can construct rectangles with a given perimeter using unit squares and determine their areas. Okay, so the same lesson that we did yesterday, we're going to get that same practice again today. So if you don't feel super confident in your skills from yesterday, that's okay because we have more practice today. Okay, so the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board. You'll need your lesson template and you'll need your problem set. Uh, we're going to do half of our problem set together during this lesson. So that'll be awesome for you guys for later. All right, so let's look at problem one. It says on your centimeter grid paper, which is your lesson template, shade and label as many rectangles as you can with a perimeter of 16 centimeters. Now, before we get started, let's talk about what strategy did we learn in the previous lesson to find rectangles with a given perimeter. What was that strategy? We had to do something with that perimeter before we could even start drawing. What did we have to do? Yeah, we divided the given perimeter in half. So, which is eight because 16 divided by two equals eight. Okay, see how we're getting that eight? We're taking the total perimeter, which was 16. We're cutting it in half. So we're dividing by two and we are getting eight. Then we wrote addition sentences that equal eight. So the numbers in the addition sentences are the widths and lengths of our rectangles. Does that sound familiar now that we were talking about that just from our previous lesson? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so remember, you are um, taking the perimeter, cutting in half, we already did that, which is eight. Then you're finding all of those pairs that add up to eight. So start at one, one plus seven equals eight. Then you go to two, okay, until you run out of pairs. And remember, you don't have to copy the same ones. Like you don't have to do one plus seven and seven plus one because we talked about that in the previous lesson is they're really the same rectangle. They're just turned sideways, okay? So once you get to the same add-ins, the same two numbers that you're adding, you don't have to write those down again, okay? So it's your turn to find the widths and lengths for the rectangles with a perimeter of 16 centimeters. You don't have to draw anything. Maybe just jot down on your paper what are the add-ins that equal 8. Okay, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so how many different rectangles did we find with a perimeter of 16? So how many different like addition sentences did you write? That's how you know how many rectangles there are. Yeah, it's four rectangles, right? We had four different addition sentences. So what are the side lengths of the rectangles? Let's talk, remember we started with one plus one equals, or one plus seven equals eight. What else did you come up with? Oh, two plus six equals eight. Okay, perfect. Then we're gonna keep going. What's next? Three plus five equals eight. And then what else? Yeah, four plus four equals eight. Did you come up with anything else? Nope, okay, those are our four rectangles, perfect. Okay, so now I want you to draw and shade each rectangle on your grid paper and label the side lengths, okay? So that's what's in your box there on the screen. So pause the video, draw and label those rectangles and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, here we go. All right, so here are the rectangles that I came up with. One by seven, right? That's my first addition sentence, one plus seven. The next one is two plus six. So here, look, there's my rectangle. Remember I labeled these just like the previous lesson, A, B, and then C, and then D, because that was easier for me to find the area later when I had them labeled already. Okay, so do your rectangles look similar to mine? Okay, awesome. Now, they might look a little bit different because you guys have exact centimeter grid paper. I don't have that on here. So I'm just doing kind of the best I can to kind of look at it with my eyes. And it's okay if it's not perfect, but on your paper, it should be. It should be one box for rectangle A, one box by seven boxes. And then B should be two boxes by six boxes. Okay, and so on for C and D. All right, so are any of our rectangles squares? And how do you know? 
Yeah, they sure are, right? D is a square because they have all the same side lengths. Okay, so how can you be sure that all of the rectangles have a perimeter of 16 centimeters? What could we do, friends? Yeah, we could add the side lengths to find the perimeter, right? So we would do 1 plus 7 plus 1 plus 7. That would give us 16. We could also do double the sum of the side lengths. That's how we found our um, side lengths to begin with. So we could do 2 times 1 plus 7 for A. We could do 2 times 2 plus 6 for B. For C, we could do 2 times 3 plus 5. And for D, we could do 2 times 4 plus 4. So we could use addition or multiplication to check to make sure our perimeters all have four or 16 centimeters for each rectangle. All right, so do you think the rectangles all have the same area? Why or why not? All right, how about no? Right, so the different side lengths will make the area different. Some could have the same perimeter, but that's not likely to happen, right? Remember we learned about that in the previous lesson too. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to find the areas of all of the rectangles and then think about what do you notice, okay? So I'm just gonna shrink mine here so they're a little bit easier for me to see all on one screen. You're gonna find the area of rectangle A, B, C, and D. Okay, remember finding the area, we're not um, adding the side lengths anymore, that's perimeter, okay? We're multiplying, and don't forget to label them as square centimeters, okay? All right, awesome, okay, go ahead, friends. Okay, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here we're gonna look at rectangle A first. Okay, we're multiplying the side lengths, so one centimeter times seven centimeters equals seven square centimeters. Okay, so make sure you're leaving that as square because that signifies area, and centimeters is the unit. Okay, let's head on over to B now. So we would multiply the length times the width, which is two centimeters times six centimeters, which is 12 square centimeters. Rectangle C, three centimeters times five centimeters equals 15 square centimeters. And rectangle D would be four centimeters times four centimeters equals 16 square centimeters. Okay, so those should be the areas that you have found for your rectangles. All right, so again, what did you notice about these? What did we notice about the area of all of the rectangles? Yeah, they're all different, right? None of them are the same. Awesome. All right, so now what I want you guys to do is you are going to do problem two on your own, and then you're gonna come back and check in with me in the video, okay? So problem two says, on your centimeter grid paper, shade and label as many rectangles as you can with a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Okay, so it's the same thing we just did in problem one. You're just having a new perimeter to work with of 18 centimeters. Okay, so pause the video, solve problem two, both parts, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here we go. What are the side lengths of the rectangles? Well, first, in order to figure that out, we needed to half our perimeter, right? So 18 divided by two equals nine. So we need to find the pairs that add up to nine. So we can start with one plus eight equals nine, two plus seven equals nine, three plus six equals nine, and four plus five equals nine. Friends, notice how in this box, I am going through and starting at one with my first number. Then I go to two, then I go to three, then I go to four, and then I would try five, but five would be five plus four, and that's the same as four plus five, okay? But what I want you guys to really pay attention to is that you are starting and kind of doing it systematically. Like you're not just picking, oh, let me try six. Six plus three equals nine. No, no, no. It's so much easier and you won't miss any if you start at one, okay? And remember, we can't do zero because there would be no rectangle with a side length of zero, okay? All right, so now that we got our side lengths, now here are the drawings. 
Okay, now you're, again, your drawings are gonna be more precise than my drawings because you have your centimeter grid. Okay, so just make sure that they are labeled this way. If they're not, pause the video and fix it, okay? All right, so now it says find all the areas of the rectangles, okay? And then again, what do we notice? Now, what I want you to pay attention to is if you had different um, numbers than I did and your rectangles didn't look like mine and have the same side lengths, you need to pause and you need to find your areas again, okay? Because if your side lengths changed, then your areas changed, okay? So before you watch this next part, if they were different, go back and fix them and recalculate the areas and then click play and we'll go over it together, okay? All right, so if yours matched mine, now we're ready to go. So let's look at rectangle A, the area, okay? So again, we're gonna do one centimeter times eight centimeters, which would be eight square centimeters. Let's look at rectangle B, which would be two centimeters times seven centimeters equals 14 square centimeters. Rectangle C would be three centimeters times six centimeters, which equals 18 square centimeters. And then rectangle D would be four centimeters times five centimeters equals 20 square centimeters. Okay, did you guys get that? Okay, awesome. So again, what do we notice about the areas of all of these different rectangles? Yeah, again, they're all different. So the area and perimeters are not going to match all the time. They could every once in a while, but more than likely the areas and perimeters are going to be different, okay? All right, so great job with that one. All right, friends, you guys did a super job constructing rectangles with a given perimeter using um, unit squares or grid paper to determine their areas. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help and hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.